And in that description, the makers of this video brag about how their inspiration was the guy called Larry Diamond. This is the guy they worked with to produce another documentary as well as this video. Diamond works closely with the National Endowment for Democracy, the NED, and the US Agency for International Development, USAID. Now, the NED is widely acknowledged to basically be a CIA front. It's been embroiled in numerous color revolutions, fake faux uprisings since its inception in 1983. And in fact, it was involved in Ukraine in 2004 uh, in that staged provocateur instigated uprising, which saw the US puppet Yushchenko come to power, who actually the current uh, Ukrainian president replaced. So it's the same faces involved again. Diamond was also involved in the Arab Spring. He was actually the guy who trained the Arab Spring State Department activists back in 2008 how to use Twitter and Facebook in instigating these faux staged revolutions. So he, he's been the key point man, not only in places like South Africa uh, back 20 years ago, where he worked with George Soros's Open Society Institute to get in the kind of government that would acquiesce to Western IMF NATO interests back then after apartheid. He did it again in Ukraine in 2004. He did it again with the Arab Spring. And now he's the inspiration behind this supposedly grassroots video. And if you notice in the clip, this young lady is, she says, help us only by telling this story, only by sharing this video. So she's insistent that people believe this glib, simplistic propaganda in emotional manipulation, just as they did with the Coney 2012 scam. Because as you've talked about over the past week and more, the real agenda in Ukraine, the real story behind the crisis is infinitely more complex than a bunch of people fighting for freedom and democracy. Well, America loses its soft power and its good name doing immoral stuff like this. And the rest of the world knows if the American people don't know all this is fake on average, the rest of the world does. And I don't want it done in my name. I know the world appreciates the fact that we're exposing this, but uh, you get in your video that I saw you do last night for Infowars.com, and it's in your article, Paul, that's up on Infowars.com, that again, the very same groups uh, involved funding the Ukraine overthrow funded this video. Talk about that State Department uh, connected endowment for democracy. Yeah, that's, that's Larry Diamond. He was involved, as I said, in the 2004 uprising. He actually was a major apologist for Obama before Obama was even elected. Uh, back in early 2008, he wrote a Huffington Post article downplaying all of Obama's scandals and corruption. Again, he's worked closely with uh, George Soros, the Open Society Institute, who's actually one of the main protest groups in Ukraine, is openly funded and now it seems armed by the Open Society Institute. You have Bloomberg reporting that the protesters are now being bussed in and they jump off the bus with backpacks and weapons ready to go to battle. So even if you believe that this was an organic protest back in November when it started, it's been completely hijacked by these same globalist forces again. And um, another key point is obviously the Newland leaked phone conversation. She was caught on tape with a, a top US diplomat planning which puppet leaders they would put into power, primarily uh, Vitaly Klitschko, who's the leader of the UDAR party opposition. So openly they've been caught on tape choosing which puppet leaders to put into power. And the media still treats this whole narrative as some kind of Russian conspiracy theory when the evidence of that is there, they've been caught admitting that this is the agenda behind the Ukrainian protests. And Paul, expanding uh, on that, uh, again, there's beefs on both sides. We're not even trying to take sides. Under international law, common sense, common law, whoever starts something first generally is in the wrong. And if you're an outsider starting it, you're even more in the wrong. And it's not even America doing this. It's this globalist cabal doing it. And they tried to finance the Obama people the Occupy Wall Street at first to try to get a national movement going that they could control politically to destabilize the country. But when it didn't become partisan 
and they couldn't control it. It was the Obama Justice Department in 36 cities that ordered concerted mass roundups and attacks on Occupy. So they would like to do similar cover, uh, color revolutions here. In fact, Al Gore has said we need an Arab Spring here by the left. Uh, we've seen Soros say that. So what we're seeing them do in Ukraine and Syria is stuff they're going to try under race politics in the future here in North America. So this is very important to study and watch. And, you know, with Obama calling them peaceful protesters, imagine if Tea Party insurrectionists, you know, with weapons and Molotov cocktails were storming government buildings in D.C., uh, seizing control of police stations, shooting at police. Would Obama call them peaceful protesters? It's the same thing we saw in Syria. You know, it started as a peaceful protest and the media was still calling them peaceful demonstrators when they were driving around tanks and had, you know, rocket propelled grenades. That's I mean, right. When Stay is there. When is going to stop? Well said. I want to come back and see where you think this is going, the latest developments. By the way, I want to say something. The Tea Party is mainly the veterans. That's why the globalists say it's the number one enemy. If the veterans try to attack the government, they will defeat the government in one hour. One hour. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. What's making Americans sick and fat? It's too many GMO foods and toxins destroying our digestive systems, causing poor digestion and suppressed immune systems. A suppressed immune system prevents clear thinking and the ability to fight the corporate and big pharma agendas. Detox now with Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 liquid probiotic is wheat, dairy, and soy-free, gluten-free, and made with all non-GMO certified organic ingredients. Pro-EM1's power is based in good bacteria, live microbes, and all their metabolites, including vitamins, amino acids, and enzymes that support a healthy digestive system, suppress pathogens, and eliminate toxins. Pro-EM1 is the key to your digestive health. Order Pro-EM1 daily probiotic cleanse at Terraganics.com, spelled T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com, or call toll-free 866-369-3678. That's 866-369-3678. Also available through Amazon Prime. Pro-EM1 from Terraganics. Life's getting better. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. All right, folks, we're back live with Paul Watson. He'll be with us a little bit in the next hour. Then we're going to open the phones up and cover a ton of other geopolitical, financial, gun news, police state news, Obamacare news in the next hour. I want to uh, show you discoveringthenetworks.org, the guide to the political left. And this is just the uh, Soros group. Uh, the Open Society group that he heads up, the Democracy Alliance, the Shadow Party, the Shared Agendas of George Soros, 
And it says uh, here they have $1.9 billion. And they're involved with their eyeballs uh, right now uh, with what's happening over in the Ukraine. So remember, the people that want your guns, people that want to make little kids have abortions, uh, you know, your 12-year-old gets pregnant, they want the school to make the decision to have them have an abortion, not you. Uh, the, the just absolute evil scum are the ones behind this. So that, that's all I need to know uh, right there. And it's, it's truly disgusting. Here's Obama's actual quote from his speech in Mexico yesterday. Quote, we expect the Ukrainian government to show restraint to not resort to violence in dealing with peaceful protesters. We've always said we expect peaceful protesters to remain peaceful. And we'll be monitoring very closely the situation, recognizing that our own European partners in the international community, there will be conscious if, uh, if people step over the line. And now they're calling for sanctions uh, against the Ukraine and escalation. Of course, this is all happening while the Russians run the Olympics. Uh, and so they're hoping the Russians won't pour into Ukraine uh, there to try to stabilize things. Again, I'm not romanticizing the Russians either. The point is they're not the ones starting this, Paul. They've been in a very restrained position, and smartly so, even if they're evil. I don't know if they're evil, but I'm, I'm saying it's smart to have the moral high ground. What do you make of all this? Where do you think it's going, Paul? I know you track it very closely from London. Well, of course, it started back in November when the uh, Ukrainian government signed this trade pact with Russia, rejecting one with the EU at the last minute. That started the wave of these pro-EU protests, supposedly against corruption. Now, Alex, I find it a little odd that protesters who are siding with the EU are anti-corruption since the European Union is notoriously one of the most corrupt institutions on the planet. In fact, the cost of EU corruption on an annual basis is the same as Ukraine's entire GDP. So they're against corruption in the Ukrainian government, but they're siding with an institution that is inherently corrupt. So that makes no sense. The sanctions that you just mentioned, which the EU are about to bring forth, are aimed at disarming the police. They're taking away the the weapons that the police are using to defend government buildings against these rebels, these insurrectionists. So that's about disarming the police. And as you said, it's, it's the, the geopolitical isolation of Russia. They will try and condemn Russia. And I mean, Alex, we bashed Putin and Russia for 10 years or so. You know, back 10 years ago, I wrote countless articles bashing Putin. He was an author, authoritarian, corrupt leader. But he's not going to risk a new Cold War, a new global war as for a turf battle, which is what this is about. It's a tug of war. It's about getting on the Russian frontier and circling Moscow with NATO bases. That's part of the agenda they've been pursuing for years and years. Also with this video, the guy behind it, the inspiration behind it, Larry Diamond, is also a CFR member. Of course, the CFR is basically a front for the State Department. Hillary Clinton joked that she would only have to walk down the road to get her instructions because the CFR and the State Department are basically right next to each other. The creator of the video gave an interview to the Huffington Post where he said he was in Ukraine before any of the protests even started to, quote, prepare a film on democracy. So he was already in there waiting for it to happen. And then magically, this video comes out with the aid of CFR member Larry Diamond with the State Department and the National Endowment on Democracy. So of course, they don't even try to point. hide it. They don't even try to hide it, Paul. Stay there. Only five more minutes with you. I'm going to come back, folks, give the number out and get into all the other news we haven't covered. But this is a big deal. We're going to talk about how this could lead to a larger regional war straight ahead. And Obama Thank hinting at military action by saying we don't Visit want military action. Today. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
and that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.